Yeah, it's, it's very much a, a romantic notion. Um, but again, I always say specifically that it does depend on the, on the distillery. But uh, the water will have an impact initially if they are doing their own floor malting. So they soak the barley in that water that comes from a barren up in the highlands. Um, and when they're hot washing the barley um, to remove all the sugar, all the malters, they will then uh, use the water that comes into the distillery. It's only when some years later, after it's been aging, maturing in oak, um, that it comes out of the barrels as full strength and they have to bring the strength of that alcohol down to the minimum requirement in each country. So in Europe, 40%. And they usually cut it with or add water, uh, demineralized water, but there are some distilleries that do use that water that comes into the distillery itself. And yes, I feel that, that it probably would have a very small impact on the whiskey, but yeah, you know, as I said, it was. It, uh, we believe it is very much a romantic notion. It's a lovely notion. It's part of the magic, and the tradition, and style, and culture of of making Scottish whiskey. Again, very contentious. Terroir normally refers to where the barrel is aging, not so much the barley. So on Isla Brookladdy use a lot of the barley that is grown on the island. But when they talk about terroir, it's usually about where those barrels are aging. And if it's aging at the distillery on Isla, it will have significantly a character that is solely all about Isla. Now if those barrels were then taken off Isla and, ma and matured on the mainland, you now have a different ambient character around that barrel which will have an effect or a different effect on the whiskey.